Welcome. Thank you for joining us for another lesson of augmented reality tennis, where we place virtual targets over the live environment. Uh, again, the, the goal of the project originally was to develop um, an app using AR technology to place virtual targets over the live environment that players of all levels, from novices to advanced players, can use for, to measure the height, spin, speed, and direction they need to hit a target on the other side of the court. During the first lesson, we focused on hitting four hands down the line to a righty's backhand. During this lesson, we're going to expand on that and hit backhands cross court to get into the backhand corner. Uh, and also hit inside of forehands. Uh, this is the second lesson of a three-part series to, uh, with targeting the backhand side. Thank you for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Okay, so for the second lesson, we are going to still target the backhand corner. If you're playing or writing, as marked with the four cones on the right-hand side there, this is consistent with the first lesson. The first lesson we are targeting forehands down the line to the righty's backhand. Today with the second lesson we're going to still target the, the backhand corner but we're going to add the backhand cross court in. So, so we're going to mark two targets for the backhand cross court. One ball is going to be relatively down the middle so your angle from when you hit the ball to the target is going to be a second ball you're going to be wider to the backhand which your angle has to be greater going to that same corner. So we're going to mark the one here with a square and the wider ball with a circle and we're going to enlarge this again okay and we're going to close the window down we place two targets one target is going to be relatively down the middle so this would be a neutral ball and the circle is going to be a wider ball which would be a wider backhand again still targeting the backhand corner Neutral, right down the middle, right in the target, and you hit the, hit the green square. Perfect. So my wide ball is a little bit too far to the left. Looks like the square is perfect. We're going to adjust our circle over a little bit to the right hand side. So we're just going to shrink this down a little bit here, and we're going to move this target over here a little bit and then increase the size again and then close the menu wide on target a little high wide perfect okay so we're going to add a third target now a backhand down the line so I'm going to put this right above the on the line make it bigger go Backhand cross, <clears throat> forehand, <clears throat> forehand, <clears throat> forehand. <clears throat> okay, so we're using the same uh, pattern. We can see I increased the size of the targets a lot, and this is just showing that uh, the target system can be used for more advanced players, which you would shrink the target down to a smaller size, or you can. Uh, use it for you know more beginner people that players that need a bigger target uh, to hit from so same targets circle backhand square forehand backhand right through the target forehand a little bit wide forehand perfect 